Hello, my name is Aaron and welcome to another video. Today we are looking at focus modes on the Sony A5100, what they are and how they work. As I mentioned in my five more things to know about the Sony A5100, I thought I'd go into these focus modes in a little bit more detail. But before we get started, please consider subscribing to the channel and hitting that notification bell. It lets me know that you're enjoying these videos and I'll keep making more. So to change your focus mode on the Sony A5100 and some of the other Sony Alpha cameras, you go to camera settings on the menus of the camera and then it's on tab three and then there you can see focus modes. So first up is AFA, which stands for automatic autofocus. Quite self-explanatory really, the camera is going to try and autofocus automatically without you having to do really anything at all. You can tap the screen to try and help the camera autofocus, but generally it will try and do a best guess of what you're trying to focus on. So whether you've got a moving subject, a stationary subject, things moving closer or further away from the camera, the camera will try its best to stay focused. Now this is a great setting when you're first starting off. It means you can start taking photos straight away, not really have to worry about the focus too much. Great for getting your head around this camera. However, you will find limitations with it because it is always fighting a battle of trying to process what you are trying to focus on rather than you yourself knowing what you're focusing on. So it can be frustrating sometimes with a moving subject if it starts picking up on something else that moves by in front of the camera or perhaps you're trying to focus on one single object but the autofocus is moving around trying to pick up other things within your composition, it's a bit more frustrating. So you'll find limitations with it fairly quickly but it is the setting that the camera comes on as default. So it's great when you're starting out and it's essentially a mix between AFC and AFS which we'll go into shortly. But to be honest, once you get your head around the camera, and especially once you get your head around these other focus modes, you'll probably find yourself using this mode less and less. So as I just mentioned, the next one is AFS, which is Single Shot Autofocus. This means once the camera's locked down its focus, it won't change until you reactivate the focus. You'd use AFS perhaps for a portrait and the subject wasn't moving any closer or further away from the camera, but maybe there would be something passing in front of the camera, maybe leaves or something like that, which would perhaps take away the autofocus on a, on a different mode. So you're basically locking in that the camera is gonna be focusing on their face or whatever subject it is, but it's best used if the subject is not moving really at all further away or nearer to the camera. You could recompose within that one focus shot without refocusing the camera, perhaps if the subject is just moving from left to right within the frame, but they need to stay on the same focus plane, which means no further or nearer to the camera without refocusing. Of course, to refocus, you just half press the shutter button again to get your new point of focus. So it's quite quickly to change, but it is useful, especially in those moments if things are gonna be moving in front of the camera and the camera may, at the autofocus would be trying to jump around on, on the other focus modes, that you can just lock in that point of focus, things move around in front of the shot or behind it, the camera's focus isn't gonna move, and then bam, you take your single shot. It's very useful if you've got quite a busy scene going on. To lock down the focus on AFS mode, half press the shutter button and you will hear a beep signifying that the focus is locked on. The other main focus mode is AFC, which is continuous autofocus. This basically means that if your subject is moving, the camera will stay focused on that subject. Someone running at a sporting event perhaps and you're trying to track them running or even a, a car or perhaps you just want to take photos of your pet running around the garden and you want to keep them in focus. AFC is perfect for those type of situations as you don't need to keep refocusing on the subject. If you half press and hold the shutter button and then move a subject or follow a subject around as you can see here, you can see the focus points following the subject around the frame, keeping it in focus no matter whether you move closer or further away or side to side, it is tracking that single object and keeping it in focus. This setting goes hand in hand with the continuous shooting drive mode, which basically keeps taking photos the longer you fully hold down the shutter. This makes sense as it keeps the subject in focus and keeps taking photos so you can find that perfect shot of a moving object. Next up is DMF, which is direct manual focus. Now this is the focus mode that I use the least and I would imagine that most people use the least, but it definitely has its uses. DMF is essentially a halfway house between manual and autofocus. Now on paper, that doesn't really sound that useful. You use the autofocus to get a quick focus on your subject, and then you can micro adjust manually to get a really sharp focus, perhaps on a small detail of your subject. This is particularly useful if you're doing macro photography, which is close up photography of perhaps wildlife using a telephoto lens, or it may be even product photography if you're taking photos of items you're selling on a website or something like that. You can autofocus quickly so you don't have to faff around too much getting the general focus and then you use the focus ring on your lens 
to then micro adjust, as you can see here, to pinpoint your focus. Now again, I don't use DMF particularly often, but it is very useful in these niche circumstances, perhaps when you don't have a lot of time to get the focus. You can autofocus fairly quickly and then quickly micro adjust to focus on a particular area of your subject. Now, to micro adjust in DMF mode, you have to half press the shutter button and keep it held down, then you can use the focus barrel to make those micro adjustments. Finally, we have manual focus. If you have time to compose, manual focus is perfect as you can pinpoint your exact point of focus. You simply use the focus ring to refine your focus. This works great for, for landscapes, perhaps you want to stack your photos at different points of focus or you just want to focus on a single point. Uh, again, pretty useful for things like product photography where you have the time to exactly pinpoint your focus. Manual focus is simply the best way to have complete control over pinpointing your point of focus. Now you can use focus peaking, which I did mention in the five more things to know about the Sony A5100, which essentially highlights the current point of focus within the frame. This is useful if you can't quite see what is in focus and what else is going to be in focus when you take the shot. You can use the micro adjustments hand in hand with the focus peaking to see what is in focus. And there we have it, that is all the focus modes on the Sony A5100 explained. These focus mode settings are compatible across the other Sony Alpha cameras, so if you have one of these other cameras or you're thinking about upgrading, you can use the information you've learned from this video and apply it to those cameras as well. As always, if you've enjoyed, please drop a like and consider subscribing to the channel, it lets me know that you're enjoying these and I'll continue making them. But that's it from me for now, see you next time. Cheers!